Do y'all want this figure? Then go on over to Chosen Prime where they can take good care of you, man. They got everything from Transformers, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever your heart desires. Follow that link down in the description and you can buy this Transformer as well. So just tell them that Deluxe sends you and you might actually get a virtual hug. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. And if you're new, thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate that. And do me a huge, huge favor. If you like the content, you like the video, hit those likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. And definitely hit that sub button. It really helps out the channel. I'm trying to grow it. I'm almost 7,000. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And hit me up on Instagram too as well. It's in the description. Uh, if you like my pictures, that's where they all go to as well. I, I do some more pictures here and there. Uh, but yeah, definitely hit that up. So yeah, let's just do another Transformer review. Yeah. All right. Hey there, everybody. So today I'll be taking a look at some more Toy Alliance Arch Core. I love this stuff. Like I said, every time it's kind of like of a mixture of, uh, you know, 40K. Uh, it's got Vikings, kind of a Mad Max kind of feel to it. And today I'll be taking a look at the 135th Ursus Guard Starfall Squad. This is uh, ARC-08. You can tell. And you got some... Nice background stuff right there. The Vec, Omar, Nivelle, Navelle, Karsten. And you got some other ones in there. It's a pretty cool. That's the right, uh, front of it. That's very nice. I love the box art. So there's three little uh, miniature guys, what they are. And this one, and you got that right there. Looks good. Then on the side right here. And on the back, this beautiful, beautiful artwork. I love it. Look at that. That is so oh so awesome that is cool but you get three of these little guys and their weapons and stuff and i'll show you all that stuff in a second but yeah beautiful box art so there you go that is what it comes in and real quick here's the instructions once again the same box art looks freaking awesome and then you can pause for the cause if you want to read this hope you can let me see if i can get it straight there you go so if you want to pause that and read some little background about that it looks pretty cool and then inside, you got here. So what it comes with, it kind of like it says, three little guys. You get the uh, hands. They always come with a bunch of hands. You get four weapons. You get two little flag stands. And then you get these things that are called um, uh, tank traps. Uh, I used to use them back in the day, you know, for stop tanks and, you know, vehicles, you know, from coming in. So and that just shows how to put them together. And, yeah, and there is, yeah, that is it. So that is instructions. So let's take a look at the three little fellas. All right, here is the Starfall Squad and all this stuff it comes with. So we'll take a look. They come with the, uh, lots of extra hands. You got the open grasp. Uh, you got the pointing, the thumbs up. And you do got some adapters in there as well. So tons of options if you want to do that. Put that over there. You get two flags, which are very nicely done. We we'll love the little horns on the top. Nice white paint. You got the nice uh, beer, uh, beer, but bear claw. Nice white paint. Nothing on the back. It does go up and down and it does swivel. So it looks like it could be flapping in the wind. That's pretty cool. You just take one of these stands, just plug it in there, and there you go. And the other one is, it says VEC, V E C K. A nice little symbol right there. Once again, in white paint and love the little horn. Swivel up and down. So that is pretty cool. It comes with these little tank stoppers, what I showed you. Uh, I already put two together. So basically what you do is you just plug them in right here like that. And you plug another one. And you can try to uh, just, you know, do the best you can right there. And there you go. And there's three of them like that. It is just gray plastic. Nothing special. Put that back there. And we'll take a look at these in a minute. And you get the guns. You get uh, three guns and a hammer. The first one's a little smaller gun. Uh, the magazine does not come out. But it is not painted at all. You can paint these if you want to. Like I said, you got two of these. They're not painted. Uh, they're kind of like the uh, 40K Warhammer stuff. So you can paint them. But nicely sculpted. It looks really good. Then you got a big mama, big mama Gemma gun. Usually they paint the blade, which I like the blade. They usually paint it a gold, but it's not painted now this does come out the little magazine so that's pretty cool you can have it on either side so very nice but nicely sculpted once again love it beautiful beautiful sculpt work 
and you got the big big mamma jamma gun <laughs> and it's huge once again nice sculpt work looks good i don't think the magazine comes out of that one but this does fold so if you want to push these on put these on the back of these guys you can and they can uh carry those but yeah and you can use these if you want to uh if you want to put this up here and kind of get somebody to uh you know hold that up you can do that you know tons of options pretty cool and you got the big old hammer once again nicely sculpted no paint though but it'd been cool they got some paint there you go that is all they come with and it's pretty cool we'll take a look at these fellas real quick all right so we're gonna take a look at one of these guys these two are the same they're actually all three the same but this one is painted uh, with the maroon thing well, i consider him the leader but we'll take a look at him and i'll look at them individually or just one for articulation they all articulate the same all right so there he is love the horns love the little gas mask little thing going on very nice got some nice paint some copper paint right here then white paint on the shoulder pads and once again a little paint right there and you got the bear claw looks good copper paint right there and on the knees and the waist and you got a little white paint on the bar, uh, back of the boots and here is the back of it so very nice very nicely done all right Put them over to the side, and we'll take a look at the leader. Like he's already painted. If you want, like I said, you have a fun time painting. This was a good time. So there you go. Got the nice maroon red. And then once again, the maroon and the white paint, the copper. This is painted too. The copper, all that, and the other bear claw on the other side. So all three of them are the same. Just I think this one's leader because he's painted. And we'll take a look at his articulation. Uh, look down quite a bit. Nothing up really because this little back plate right here blocks everything side to side just be careful don't want to break off those horns and a little attitude so a little it's on a little ball peg so there you go and this goes up with this the 80s woman's working shoulder pads you do this is a tight tight joint right there but you do get about 90 degrees for that and you can go all the way around because this one goes with it see that's tight it's tight tight Pretty cool. Uh, you got more than 90 degrees for the elbow bend. That is good. You do got a bicep swivel. That is nice. Swivel of the hand. It is really tight as well. Like I said, it's on a ball peg and you got it in and out. So you got a little wiggle waggle. All right. So move that. So you do got a nice waist swivel. Nice little ab crunch. And a little back crunch too as well. And I'm a little teapot going on too. So very nice on there. Van Dam all day, every day. They are little drop downs too as well, so that's good. Uh, you can kick up quite a bit and kick back. A little thigh swivel going on, very nice. More than 90 degrees for the knee bend, that is good. Toe tilt down, toe tilt up, and a nice rocker. So just like any human being, they usually have very nice articulation, and these do as well. So that is that. I'll get that all situated. Bring these back in, and there you go. That is your Starfall Squad right there. All right, good stuff. And just to show how small these are, there are New Age, Megatron, Mirage, and Prowl back there for some scale. And real quick, there they are with the you know the tank stoppers, and then you also got the uh, flags, and they got the weapons. Like I said, you can carry them on his back, and you can carry that one. And like I said, you can put this one on here. I'm sure you can put it on one of the vehicles too as well, but there you go. That looks freaking awesome. I love this stuff.
All right, so let's talk about some Starfall squad. And this is all of my squad right now I have. I do have some of the gray ones that haven't been painted yet. I haven't mess, really messed around with those. Uh, but yeah, I really would love to learn how to paint, but I'm not really good at it. But um, as far as the Starfall, uh, Starfall squad, I really like them. I love the little, uh, these um, banners and everything. I like that. Like, really, I love the little horns that come up there, the flags. Uh, you got the little truck uh, tank stoppers. Really nice. The weapons are awesome. Wish they would have painted them, but you know, like I said, you can paint them yourself. Um, I love the guys. I think they're really cool. Um, I love the horns on there. Like I said, it's got that Vikings kind of thing going on. Um, articulation, really good. Paint, really good on this one. Uh, could use a little more on the other ones. Like I said, I, I would love if they come painted more, but you know, we'll see. Um, and you know, the materials feel good. Don't think I'm going to break them or anything like that. I love this set. I love this new line. This Archcore stuff is really good. Can't wait for him to uh, get his trailer. And they got some more little guys coming out with like uh, bases and some more flags and stuff. So yeah, they got a lot coming down the line and I'm really excited for this. I really like it. I highly recommend this line. It's becoming one of my favorites. And yeah, it just looks really cool. Just got the Mad Max, Vikings, 40K, you know, all that Warhammer stuff. Man, I can't wait. And hopefully in my new house I get uh, this year, I'm hoping maybe, you know, get a little diorama or something and uh, set these up. That would be so cool. Like a bet, you know, like a battle scene or something. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Hit me also on likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. Hit me up in the comments. Tell me what you thought of the review. And I guess I'll see you in the next uh, Archcore review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hail freaking Archcore. And good night, folks.